boys and girls, welcome to our story time. And today I've chosen a story that fits beautifully with our topic, recycling. Do you remember we were looking at the recycling monsters? And then Miss Green and Miss Wesley showed you how to use your recycling items to make your own monster. Well today, Topsy and Tim, they're going to do some recycling. And the title of the story is Topsy and Tim Go Green. Wow! Let's find out what going green means. Does it mean they're going to change colour, children? It doesn't mean they feel sick either. It means they're going to recycle. But that's the word some people use. One Friday afternoon, Topsy and Tim came home from school looking rather glum. That means sad. Is something wrong? said Dad. Miss Terry says the world's all messed up with rubbish and fumes and stuff, said Tim. And there are so many people that there's no room left for wild animals, said Topsy. Ooh, we could do something about that, said Mummy. We could recycle our rubbish instead of throwing it away. That would help the poor old world, wouldn't it? Topsy and Tim cheered up and enjoyed their tea. Oh, the next morning, after breakfast, Topsy and Tim helped Daddy to put lots of old bottles and piles of plastic cartons and loads of old newspapers into boxes and bags. Mummy and Daddy packed everything into the car and they all drove off to the recycling centre. The bottles clinked and cheeked all the way. There they are, look. Clinker clatter. The recycling bins stood in the supermarket car park. Mummy packed the car beside them. Parked the car beside them, sorry. She lifted Topsy up to drop the bottles into the bottle bag. Smash went the first one as Topsy dropped it in. This said glass and this blue one said paper. Oh dear, said Tim. They won't be able to use that bottle again now. It doesn't matter, said Dad. All the glass will be melted down and made into something new. Maybe nice new bottles. The plastic bottles had to be squashed flat before they went into their bank. Topsy and Tim were champion bottle squashers. My fleece jacket is made from recycled plastic bottles, do you know? Wow! Really, Mum? said Topsy as she jumped up and down on the plastic bottle. Tim helped his daddy to post the old newspapers into the paper bin. Newspaper is made from chopped down trees, you know, Tim. Recycling saves lots of trees, you know. Wow, that's great, Dad. Now, we will do our shopping. Come on, children, said Mummy. We will read all the labels and choose the things that do the world the least harm. Mummy chose free range eggs in a cardboard box because that can be recycled. These were laid by happy hens, look. Let's choose these, said Mummy. Dad chose organic carrots. Whew, that means no nasty chemicals have been on these. And I love carrots, said Tim. All oh, these toilet rolls are made from recycled paper, said Mummy. They will save some trees. Oh, that's good, Mum. Let's put those in the trolley. On the way home, they stopped at a garage for petrol. Miss Terry says cars are very bad, said Tim. They make the air all smelly and yucky. Oh, perhaps we should stop using the car so much then. Maybe you should walk. I suppose I could bike to work, said Daddy. When they got home, Topsy and Tim went to play in the garden. I wish we had a wildlife garden like the one at school with flowers and ladybirds and bees, said Topsy. And a pond for frogs, said Tim. Dad came out to cut the grass. Please, Dad, could we have a corner of the garden for a wildlife 
nice one. Please, said Topsy. You wouldn't need to cut to the grass, would you, Dad? In the wildlife corner. Oh, that's a great idea, children. Mummy liked the idea of a wildlife garden too. You will need some water for the wild things to drink or swim in, she said. Your old sandpit would make a good pond. Mummy helped to dig a hole in a sunny corner of the garden and they put the old sandpit in the hole. And then Topsy and Tim carried the water in the buckets and poured it in. Wow, they are busy, aren't they? Topsy planted a tuft of grass in a flower pot and stood it in the middle of their pond. That's a little island for the dragonflies, she said. Tim piled stones on the bottom of the pond. That's a cave for frogs to hide in, he said. Wow. Kerry came to see Topsy and Tim's wildlife garden. I like your pond, she said. It used to be our sandpit, but we recycled it. Oh, said Topsy and Tim. And that was Topsy and Tim's adventure. The end. And that is how they recycle. Happy recycling, everyone! <laughs>